Hi everybody and welcome to the Realm Pictures Lighting Masterclass. I'm Eve Hazelton, I'm the Director of Photography and Editor here at Realm and I'm going to be talking you through the lighting chapters that we have coming up all about lighting for film and video. Now it's massively exciting that you guys can go into a shop in your high street, pick up a camera and a lens for less than a thousand pounds that's perfectly capable of filming a feature length film. Now I just think this is absolutely incredible because this is something that wasn't possible 10 years ago. And better yet, there are loads of communities, both on and offline, that are willing and want to help you become better filmmakers. This new generation of filmmakers are creative, are passionate, and are really paving the way for a fantastic future for filmmaking. So I'm really excited to see what happens next. Now, the great thing about this is that now the tools are available to us it's no longer about being able to make a film. It's now about being able to make a film well. Now for all of those tutorials out there about camera noise and sensor size and shutter speed and frame rate, we didn't think there was much information about the key fundamental ingredient to every single great shot and that is light. As DOPs, light is a fantastic creative tool and the camera is just there to create, to capture what we've created with light. Now this kind of stuff wasn't around when I first started out, so I'm really pleased that me and the team here have been able to create this lighting masterclass so that we can hopefully help you guys out as well. We want this masterclass to give you a better understanding of light and we want you guys to be able to use it to improve your cinematography and your filmmaking as a whole. Following on from the tutorials that we did for Philip Bloom on philipbloom.net, we had hundreds of questions and so many requests for more information and so we've taken the most frequently asked questions and used them as a base to build this lighting masterclass on so that you guys are getting the key and most relevant information that you guys wanted. Now one thing I do want to say is that this isn't a how-to guide or a walkthrough. If we were to just shoot us filming a scene that we've lit and then tell you guys to get on with it, you're going to get stuck pretty quick. So what we've created are the lessons. We want you guys to use these and to build upon them and to understand the principles of lighting so that when you come to tackle your own scenes, you have that knowledge and the creativity that you can tackle them head on. So with that said, what is this masterclass actually going to cover? It's made up of three chapters. And then in the first chapter, we're gonna go right back to basics and look at light theory. We're gonna look at what light is and how it reacts with its surroundings. We're gonna look at the difference between hard and soft light and how you can control that for creative effect. And we're gonna look at things like what fall off is and what fall off isn't. And we're also going to talk a little bit about colour and how you go about describing that. In chapter two, we visit a fantastic studio in London and get to play with some really awesome kit. We look at some lights that you might already be familiar with and might already be using. But we also look at some kit that's being used daily on those big budget Hollywood films, which is absolutely fantastic. So we're looking at blondes, we're looking at Fresnels, we're looking at HMIs, Kina Flows, parkans, dado lights, and we even look at some LEDs in that chapter as well. And in chapter three, all this information starts coming together and we start actually using it to do some lighting. We look first of all at some standard lighting positions and how the position of just your key primary light can have a dramatic effect on your scene and your subject. And finally, we look at two real world lighting scenarios. We put it to you guys as to what ones you wanted to see us cover. And these two were the ones that kept coming up time and time again as to what you wanted to know. So we've covered those for you. We've looked at script, we've looked at location considerations, we've looked at time constrictions, we've looked at what kit we might need, and we've shown you how you go about lighting those scenes as well. So I hope you guys find this masterclass useful. It's been fantastic fun making it for you. I hope it's gonna help improve you and aid your projects in some way or another. Let's crack on now by looking at the first chapter, which is light theory.